Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. Thou art that, with either zeros or O's at the end. O thou art that O um, has done a video response to my video, Environmentalism the New Religion, which I recently posted. And his video response is all over the map. So instead of doing text comments to all the things that were raising my blood pressure, I thought I'll just do a video. So this is that video. And he starts out essentially agreeing with me that science uh, is that body of laws which we think we can count on, which nature works by, and that that's what nature has come to mean over the last few hundred years, and that environmentalism is changing that or something. I don't know if he agrees that far. But he agrees on what the meaning of nature is, that set of laws which are fundamental and we can rely upon. Now put that in your pocket and hold it till a little bit later. He then goes on to say that, because I'd mentioned Kant, I said that uh, Timothy Treadwell lost his life because of Immanuel Kant, or Kant cost him his life. Thou art that was um, a bit um, mm, confused by that, because he says, he says, if I were to think, if someone were to ask me one philosopher who was in favor of reason, it would be Kant. One philosopher who was in favor of, of humans, it would be Kant. Well, as uh, Kant said, man is the radically evil creature, so I don't think that that quite counts as what's Kant's categorical imperative for. It is to thwart the uh, otherwise normal uh, implications of human existence. Humans normally go after what they want. But what we should do, he, Kant says, is act on the categorical imperative and make sure that everybody in all of society could always do that and then it's okay for us to do that. Now, if you read Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics, you'll get a more pro-human picture than that. Instead of trying to thwart each of our uh, own special uh, desires, Aristotle says that uh, the perfect man or the best man is a man who's proud. He says pr pride is the crowning virtue of all the virtues because it makes all the other virtues better and it only comes when you have all of the other virtues. You can't be proud if you're not virtuous, says Aristotle. Kant's very, very different. Aristotle is pro-human, I would say. I would say Kant is not and that it's not a very hard case to make, especially when he calls man the radically evil creature. Now, is he for reason? Is Immanuel Kant in favor of reason? That is just freaking ludicrous. No, he's not in favor of reason. Reason is absolutely impotent, according to Kant. Reason cannot do anything. There is a realm beyond anything we can access, including reason. Reason can't even access it. And he was very confused about what reason was. Kant said that you could logically um, come to one conclusion from a given set of assumptions, and you could logically come to the opposite conclusion, which is a def defiant uh, ignorance of what logic is. So uh, Kant was not in favor of reason. He was in favor of obfuscation. He was in favor of faith and religion and the moral sense that he believed uh, had to come from a sense of duty. You couldn't derive it logically or reason reasonably or rationally. And then he cloaked this set of just a bunch of religious faith nonsense. You know, we just have to have faith that Immanuel Kant was right and we can't know reality. You can't investigate for yourself because you can't know reality. And you can't verify it because what the hell would you, how would you verify that? And, well, then wait, then how did he come up with it? But, but we can't question that. We accept that on faith, right? And we call it reason, pure reason. Well, that's just nonsense. That's Immanuel Kant for you. So that's the first confusion in Thou Art That. No surprise that he's confused about that. And I doubt this will straighten him out. But, on to the next point. Then he says that Kant is uh, a humanist. And I guess we can accept that. I don't know too much about the historical uh, aspects or details of what humanism started as. Uh, I'll, let's just leave that as a benefit of the doubt. Kant, perhaps, was a humanist. And then, Thou Art That says that the, this is the religion I am inculcating my students with. This is the religion I'm giving them. And here is where we part ways, because he believes that everyone is religious, 
at least those people who act in some authoritarian manner or in some way of trying to better the world. This is around two and a half minutes or three minutes or something like that in this video. Those who are trying to better the world in some way, those who act from some position of authority, by his definition, are religious. Now this is what annoys me about him. He is so damn sloppy. Let's, uh, he's got, he has the intellectual vigor to think about things, which are difficult and make most people very sleepy. So we have the intellectual vigor of, say, Azrinoch and Zorio. Look at Azrinoch and Zorio as one type. Intellectual vigor, not so much on the stamina, but vigor. And on the other hand, let's take scientific discussion. Vigor and absolutely no intellect at all. Falling right in the middle as a person with vigor and a little bit of intellect. He's relentless, he keeps doing videos, he rambles. He makes little or no sense and he changes his subject too often. He never explains his points sufficiently. And I'm not certain that he believes in evidence. Other than all that, good chap.